What's up Dragon Nation? I'm Rich with Dragon Nation Gaming. Welcome back to another Space Engineers tutorial. This episode we want to go over upgrade modules to see if they're actually worth the time it takes and the resources it takes to build them. Now we got a control setup. We have four refineries. One is the control and then I have one refinery for each mod. So let's go ahead and get this started. It looks like we're finally done. I've been sitting here for about half an hour waiting for these resources to process. So, of course, in alphabetical order, I did 1,000 of each ore. So we got cobalt, gold, iron, magnesium, nickel, platinum, silicon, silver, silver, uh, stone, and uranium. I went ahead and did four refineries. So this one has no upgrade module. That is the control, so we can check to see the differences. Then I think this one is speed. Yep, that one's the speed module. Then we have the uh, yield module, and then of course the power efficiency module. And then we're gonna go ahead and check not only the ingus to see which one processes more, but we're gonna check power as well. Now, one thing I will, I would like to talk about. The speed modules was actually kind of cool. It did do things a little bit faster. So I went through all of these resources in the speed module uh, refinery and the rest of these refineries were still doing nickel. So the one with the speed modules processed everything but was still working on nickel on the others. So one thing I'm actually kind of curious about over on this side we're gonna go ahead and put the control. So that way we can check that out. I also have the refinery as well. But we have the control over here. Then what I wanna do is the speed module is about 200% faster, something like that. But we'll check that. Actually, no, I think it's 500%. Not sure, we'll check that out when we go into the control panel. But first, let's go ahead and check out uh, the cargo container with the speed modules so this is the one with the refinery that has the speed modules as you can see the inventories are exactly the same now i know some of you going to be saying yeah we know that dude but we're just going to ev through everything just to make sure we don't leave anything out so as you can see this is the control the one with no upgrade modules at all then we have the speed module and it looks like all the resources are exactly the same. So 310, 730, yep, exactly the same. Then what we have is the yield module. This one should be, oh, did I misspell the cargo container? I think I did. Yeah, I did. So this is the one with all four yield modules. So as you can see, it doubled. Yeah, it did. It doubled everything. So the yield modules will get you twice as many ingots with the same amount of ore. Then just to make sure that we go through everything, we're gonna go ahead and go to the power. Okay, where's the power? Did I name it wrong? Hold on. Maybe I named it wrong. Let me check. I think it's this one over here. What did I name you? Oh, that's the efficiency module. I should have just named it the power, but I, screwed up on that my bad all right so over here we'll go ahead and go to control and there we go so as you can see the exact same amount of ingots nothing different there so now let's go ahead and go into the control panel 
for that, we'll need to unhide the refineries real, real quick. So this one is our control. As you can see, the amount of power that is required for that is 560. This is all the productivity, the effectiveness, and power efficiency. They're at 100%. Now, if we go to refinery, the power refinery with the power efficiency modules, as you can see, power efficiency is at 500% means this is only using up 112 kilowatts the control was using 560 so yeah the power one uses about 400 about 450 kilowatts or less I don't know, I'd have to do the math to be 100% accurate but it's somewhere around there then we have the speed module as you can see the speed module uses like double no four times so 560 would be 1,120. Yeah, so a little bit more than four times the amount of power for the speed module. But the productivity is at 500%. The speed module was done, and the other refineries weren't even half done yet. So that one is actually kind of cool. I like that one. I like being able to do things a little bit faster. Then, of course, the yield module, which processed double the amount of or gave us double the amount of ingots from the same amount of ore only uses 560 kilowatts so it doesn't use any extra power but in my opinion that's not really worth it I mean in order to get double the amount of resources you would have to put on all four uh, yield modules but what I would like to do is I'd like to be able to do things a lot faster which means I would use nothing but speed modules just the way I do things but what people usually do is they'll put two speed modules on one refinery and then two yield modules on the same refinery kind of mix them up which you can actually do the problem is it doesn't give us double it only gives us 50% more resources which to me is just not worth it because not only does it take resources to build them it takes the time to build them but also these take up another block of space and when you're trying to do this on a spaceship you're trying to save as much room as possible so taking up another block for every single refinery to me just is not worth it with the speed module i would say it's worth it but I don't like to use them. When you're solo, it doesn't really matter. You'll be so busy doing other things, you don't really need it. So in my opinion, the thing that I would do is I would go ahead and set up another base. If you find uranium, go ahead and set up a base with, say, four refineries with speed modules. Or mix them up. Go ahead and do two speed modules and two efficiency modules because that's also helpful with uranium as well. Set up four refineries that way on the asteroid where you have the uranium have a mining ship that is setting by so just where the uranium will have its own miner and base so when it comes to yield modules yes they are helpful but in my opinion they're just not helpful enough now of course for multiplayer just so we can get things going a little bit faster and because i have other people playing along with me i use the speed modules and they go on all my refineries if i do use them now you can also put these on assemblers but i'm not going to go into assemblers because well it's it's pretty much the exact same thing but it is up to you however you want to play it do not let anybody else tell you how to play the game this is your game you bought it you play it how you want to play in this episode we're just giving out information now if you pay attention to the comments i guarantee there are going to be some know-it-all assholes going in the comments talking all kinds of shit because they think they know everything and they're the greatest. Do not pay attention to them. It's up to you. Play the game how you want to, whatever is fun for you, which is whatever is more exciting. That's all I got to say. That's my tip. But now that we figured that out and we have an idea for a future base, what we need to go into is the next stage of production which is getting ourselves a mining ship. Now the mining ship is pretty simple for the most part, but 
You can make it a little bit more complicated to make it a little bit more efficient. We'll go into that in next episode. Until then, make sure to like and subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.